Hey, this is Brum from Brum Gaming, and you're watching the 8-man Nightmare Mode walkthrough for Foreman Crusher, the third encounter in Karagas Palace. This fight is a fairly straightforward tank and DPS fight, and as such, the most effective raid composition is one tank, five DPS, one of which can off-tank adds for a short period of time, and two healers. The overall strategy is to kill adds, keep the tank alive through cooldowns, DPS, and avoid circles on the ground. Foreman Crusher has a number of abilities, including Ground Smash, Punt, Rock Throw, Frenzy, and Charge. The only unique fight mechanic is that he'll spawn adds at 75%, 50%, and 25% health. Like other bosses, he also has a 200% damage Hard and Rage timer. The first thing to know about this fight is that everyone must step past the laser fence before the boss is engaged. When the boss is attacked, the fence will come up. Anyone who's not inside will be locked out. Since Foreman Crusher has an AoE knockback, as well as a tank knockback, it's essential for the tank to have his back to a wall. Our tank has his back to the laser fence. The purpose of this positioning is to negate the knockback on the tank, keeping the boss in position, which will allow for maximum DPS and healing. Throughout the fight, red circles will be marked on the ground. Shortly after, Foreman Crusher will throw a rock into the air that lands in that circle. The damage from this can kill a player if he doesn't have enough total HP or if he's not topped off. Since this is a fairly easy fight for DPS, one of the challenges is actually keeping focused for the entire fight. You'll see that one of our players loses focused and gets killed unnecessarily to one of these rock throws. Latency can also be a factor here and you'll want to run out of the circles immediately. As the DPS and healers dance out of the circles, the tank will be taking considerable damage. The boss will do an ability called Frenzy where he gains 20 stacks of increased attack speed and damage. The tank will need to use cooldowns each time this ability is up in order to be healed up efficiently. When the tank runs out of cooldowns, he should communicate this so the healers can be prepared for extra heals or cooldowns of their own. Periodically, the boss will knock all players back and do some damage. This should be quickly healed up or players should use a med pack. The boss will also randomly knock down a player in melee range and charge them for damage. Healers and ranged DPS should not be within melee range of the boss to avoid getting hit by this. The last component of the fight are the adds that spawn when the boss is at 75%, 50%, and 25% health. We use our Guardian DPS to temporarily tank these in the back in order for the rest of the DPS to AoE them down. Remember, while adds are out, the boss is still damaging the tank and he will need to be healed up. We split our healers, one for the tank and one for the off tank. Once the adds are AoE down, we resume damage on the boss. Good luck.
Here's a quick review of the important elements of the fight. Make sure to tank the boss with your tanks back to a wall to prevent the boss from moving. Avoid circles on the ground at all costs. Always stagger your tank cooldowns and communicate when all have been used to allow the other people to burn their cooldowns to protect your tank. Lastly, kill the adds and don't stop healing the tank while this is going on. 